Uh, let's give you an idea what uh, the Ukrainians are so nervous about. Here's a uh, platoon of Russian infantry. They've just uh, been relieved by their colleagues. They're going back to their base now for a rest. This is a round-the-clock operation as far as the Russians are concerned. Uh, keeping uh, this base, this Ukrainian base, which uh, holds an infantry company responsible for manning the anti-aircraft uh, barricades here. Uh, but you can see that uh, although the Ukrainians are nervous, uh, the, um, although the Ukrainians are nervous... It, the atmosphere here on the ground is particularly relaxed. Look at the troops that are manning this gate here. This is the gate uh, to the, uh, the Ukrainian base. You can see the, the, the Cossack hats of the Ukrainians behind there, totally relaxed. They've been talking to these uh, soldiers here. And these are Russians. No insignia, you'll notice. No ammunition in their rifles. No magazines loaded. They're just standing here keeping guard. And they're completely relaxed. They'll allow us to walk around. They'll pay no attention to us. Uh, we can talk about them. We can approach them. They will not speak to us. They will not acknowledge us. But they are completely relaxed. They are doing nothing uh, to provoke, as people might say. Now, that is a very big difference uh, to the kind of language that we're hearing uh, on the international diplomatic scene. Their presence is upsetting the diplomats, uh, but their presence down on the ground is not creating nearly the kind of tension. But that could change. These are armed forces on the ground, nonetheless, in Ukraine. Although here in Crimea they are used to that, uh, the Russian presence here, it's still a step up from the agreement that Ukraine made with the Soviet Union and then re renewed with the, the existing Russian Federation about the extent to which troops can uh, play a part here. Uh, one other interesting point we could uh, show you, it's a distance, it's a way away, but you can see two Russian flags there, and then a line of militia. Those are civilians, Crimean civilians, most of them, of course, Russian-speaking and of Russian extraction. Many of them are in pensionable age, but they've put on camouflage kit, and they've come to form a kind of blockade to prevent people getting too close to the Ukrainian gates. It's a sign of the informal, but probably organized in the background, communication between the official Russian troops like these I'm standing next to now, and the unofficial militia here on the ground.